Hi everybody! I'm attorney Aiden Kramer with the Law Office of Aiden Kramer in Colorado and you're watching All Up In Your Business. This is the third episode in our trademark talk series. I'm not going to call it that but let's do it. This is the third episode in trademark talk where we're talking about trademarks and in this episode of trademark talk I'm going to talk about acquired distinctiveness. So in the first of this trademark series, I talked about the different kinds of trademarks that you can't trademark. In the second one, I explained that you can't, it's not that you can't trademark them, there's just some requirements and some restrictions to it. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about a few of the other ways that you can kind of get around some of those restrictions on what you can and cannot trademark. I told you guys that descriptive trademarks, where it's mostly just a name or where it describes the goods or services, those things can't be registered on the principal register. And that in most cases, they can only be registered on the supplemental register. But there is a way around that, and there's a way to make those trademarks that normally wouldn't be able to get registered on the principal register to be able to be registered on the principal register. And you can do that through acquiring distinctiveness in the trademark. The most common and easiest way to acquire distinctiveness is by using the trademark for five years or more. Once you've used a trademark in commerce for five years, you acquire distinctiveness in that trademark. And that acquired distinctiveness can let you then trademark a descriptive trademark on the principal register. So in other words, I said that my business name, the Law Office of Aiden Kramer, would not be able to be registered on the principal register because it is just my name and it describes what the services are that I offer. But if I've been in business for five years, I can potentially acquire distinctiveness and then get that trademark registered on the principal register. The other more common way to acquire distinctiveness is to prove that there is a secondary meaning. So if the trademark office says we don't want to register your trademark because it's too descriptive, you can argue that there's a secondary meaning to it which makes it not descriptive and therefore able to be registered on the principal register. An example of this is Holiday Inn. You guys know the hotel chain Holiday Inn. They had a hard time getting registered on the principal register because the trademark office said that it was too descriptive. Holiday and Inn both kind of mean vacation and lodging and so they felt that Holiday Inn was too descriptive of the fact that it was just a hotel. But Holiday Inn was able to prove that they had acquired distinctiveness because when you hear Holiday Inn, the general public is going to think of the company and the producer Holiday Inn rather than just a hotel or a motel on its own, rather than just a place for lodging on vacation. You're going to think of Holiday Inn in particular. Another example is McDonald's. Obviously, we all have heard of McDonald's before, but McDonald's is just a guy's name. So traditionally speaking, McDonald's should not be able to get a trademark over the name McDonald's because it's just some guy's name. But we all know what McDonald's is. If we see a restaurant that says McDonald's on it, we're all going to think it's a McDonald's and not some other random restaurant. So acquiring distinctiveness through a secondary meaning often involves being in business for a long time, getting a good reputation, and having a lot of people know about you, and that's what brings about that acquired distinctiveness because it's not just somebody's name or it's not just a place for lodging, it's a specific restaurant that we all know or it's a specific hotel chain that we all think of. So if you can do that, if you can prove that acquired distinctiveness, then you can get something that wouldn't normally be able to be registered. You can get it registered on the principal register rather than the supplemental register. Of course, when it comes to trademarks, it's always a good idea to work with an attorney because there are so many different moving parts to trademarks. And most people who aren't attorneys don't know about these things. Why would you? I didn't know about them before I started working with trademarks. But anyway, Always a good idea to seek the help of an attorney. If you are interested in getting a trademark or want some more information about if you can get a trademark, please feel free to contact me. My phone number and email are below. In the next episode of Trademark Talk, 
I'm going to talk about office actions, those scary, awful, terrible things that most of us get when we file a trademark application. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that episode on office actions. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Aiden Kramer, and I'll see you next time.